The practical results of this training for me are exponential. They grow every day with my involvement, with my commitment, with my recognition that there is actually something about me which I can totally rely on. That there's something about me which is totally stable and at peace, irrespective of all the data, the thoughts, the emotions, the sensations that are coming up moment to moment. I guess, um, I mean, I discovered this training about seven years ago. And um, in, in discovering it, I guess what I was looking for was um, how to um, make more constant in my life something sacred. This was my search. I was very much involved in spiritual practice and um, when I heard a friend describe what was on offer here, it was familiar to me. So my first reaction was, I kind of know this, you know, we're all connected, you know, everything's interdependent. Um, there's a unity that's looking through my eyes. Okay, I've heard it all before. Great, I'll show up to a meeting, but it's not going to teach me anything that I didn't already know. And. Um, but I, I came along nonetheless and I really liked what I heard and um, I liked the way um, that the people that I met seemed to be actually genuine, quite grounded, quite down to earth. There wasn't a kind of us and them, um, we're spiritual people, you're not type of mentality, you know, when you have what we have then you'll get there. There was none of that, um, it was just very open. And um, I guess the more I showed up to open meetings and intro trainings um, and just tested it out, just, just followed this invitation to test it out, I discovered something that was actually quite unique about this practice and about this way of life I hadn't discovered um, in the various other trainings that I'd been involved in previously, all of which were really, really valuable, but gave me glimpses of something. Um, what I was noticing here was a slow and steady, pervasive, uh, integrative way of living life. Um, so it was taking what was actually the most sacred, the most profound of all recognitions, that there really is something about us which is always on, always aware, always stable, and in essence precious and, and you could say divine. Um, but irrespective of the way that I chose to describe it, um, uh, this is something which can be used in a very practical way. And uh, that's kind of occurred to me before, but I wasn't quite sure how. I wasn't sure how to kind of take this, this incredibly profound realisation and make it something which was lived, which was really um, here, present in the stuff of day-to-day -day life. And uh, what this training offered me um, when I went to do the 12 Empowerments, which is the foundation training um, of Balanced View, which I'm doing currently again for the third time at the moment, um, was um, a, a gift, really. Um, it was a gift of, of uh, incredible preciousness to look at every aspect of existence and see that there is something pervasive in that that so often gets missed when I'm lost in my descriptions in the content of my mind as to what was what's going on. Um, there's um, the simple practice of just letting everything be as it is. Um, I, I've just come to, to, to see that, that this practice of short moments is the most precious offering it's possible to have as a human being because what we're being gifted with is the the what i've experienced is the um the chance to come home to fully totally 100 percent come home to the treasure and the truth of who i am and this is something which is irrespective of whatever chaos is raging in the stuff in the data of my of my day-to-day -day life so you know um beneath the happy-go-lucky demeanour of, <laughs> of <laughs> you know, my day-to-day my, my -day persona, there is a raging um, cesspool of chaotic madness, which is just <laughs> constantly here all the time. And I think it's true for a lot of people. And um, my, my sense of, um, because I, I, I did a lot of counselling, I trained as a counsellor and work as a counsellor, and I was very aware that the key was not to repress this, the key was not to disassociate from this. And I'd kind of associated how to be authentic with it was to just totally splurge it out, to cathart, to um, tell everyone, you know, this is what's going on, elaborate on the stories and the descriptions, and that was the equivalent of being authentic. So that's what it meant to really live life in an authentic way. And, you know, what this training has brought me home to is actually 
all that's required is to feel it, to feel it totally fully. I don't even need to go into my descriptions about it. And I can still function in day-to-day -day life because whilst feeling it fully and recognising that there's something which is untouched by it, there's something that's, that's, that's totally still stable, present and, and able to be drawn on as a resource, even while all this stuff is going on, allows me to be functional. It allows me to support other people um, and it's allowed me to actually show up and be a benefit in life in a very creative, practical and giving way. Um, so this, this was gold dust. I mean, total gold dust just to realise that um, I am fundamentally okay. All this stuff can come, can go. Fear, rage, anxiety, panic, desire, the, the, the stuff of day-to-day -day life, you know, that's just so much part of being human can be honoured, fully, totally honoured, without indulged in a way that I have to work it out or fix it. And when I come back to what's looking through my eyes and that, that, that process of just getting to know the basic awareness that's always present, um, open intelligence, um, I'm, just given, um, I'm just given the tool which is, it's, it's indestructible, it's inexhaustible, it's something which um, when trained up, and all the training up is, is, it's not about getting anything new, it hasn't been about discovering anything new, it's about becoming more familiar with what's always here and what's always present. Um, that training up has allowed me to ground myself in that and to relate in an authentic way on the basis of that and actually to, to channel all that power, all that energy into doing, into giving, into supporting and actually being a benefit in the world. So that's the gift that Balanced View has, uh, has given me and it's given me, it me in a very gentle way, in a, um, a way where it can be used within community, where it's interpersonally obvious in the, the interactions I have with everyone here. And, um, but I had to try it out, I actually had to bite the bullet of my pride and say, okay, you know, let me just actually give this a go, let me show up to the open meetings and trainings and just see if it makes a difference from what I already knew or what I already, already thought I knew and it did, it really honestly did. And uh, I'm so glad that I stuck with it and it's been the best decision of my life to actually keep on coming back.